Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make ube chiffon cake. For the ingredients, we need 100 ml of fresh milk, half a cup of sugar, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 2 teaspoon of ube flavoring, this is optional. I use two drops of gel food coloring. Two and a half cups of ube halaya. I'll put the link in the description box how to make this. 150 grams of cake flour. Eight egg yolks. And 100 ml of vegetable oil. So to begin, we're going to combine together the sugar and the egg yolks. Give this a whisk until the egg yolks is light pale yellow, just like this. To this, I'm going to add the ube halaya. If you don't have ube halaya, you can use ube jam. Now I'm going to add 2 teaspoon of ube flavoring. Give it a mix. Add the oil. Then milk. Now sift in the cake flour and the salt. Now mix this until it is combined. Do not over mix. At this point, you can decide if you want to add food coloring. I will add two drops because once we add the meringue, the color of this will be lighter. Now, set this aside. We need eight egg whites, half a cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar, you can use lemon juice or vinegar. So using a handheld mixer, um, beat the egg whites. Once the egg white is frothy, you can add the cream of tartar. Once the egg whites look like this, you can gradually add the sugar. Once the sugar is all in, continue beating this until you reach the stiff peak stage. By the way, your oven should be preheated at 160 to 165 degrees Celsius at this point. And this is now the steep pick stage. We're going to combine the meringue and the egg yolk butter. Add the meringue in three additions using the folding method. Make sure not to overmix this or else the meringue will deflate.
And this is the last addition of the meringue. So at this point, we need to fold this really gently. So transfer the batter into the prepared tube pan. And then we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 160 to 165 degrees Celsius for about 1 hour to 1 hour 5 minutes. Before baking, give it a light tap. And this is what the cake looks like after baking. Now one important step to do once the cake come out of the oven is to flip the pan upside down and let it cool down completely this way. Once the cake cools down, using a spatula, run it between the cake and the pan to release the cake. Don't forget the middle of the cake. Now release the cake from the pan. Now to remove the cake from the bottom of the pan, again using a spatula, run it between the cake and, and the bottom pan. And this is the finished product. This is so good. I can guarantee that you're going to enjoy this. The cake is not too sweet and it's very light. And just to show you what it looks like inside when you cut the cake in the middle. So I hope you give this a try and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook. Um, I usually answer questions in there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!